Oh my goodness, I'm ecstatic. Um, I just have to believe in myself, and I think that what got, got me to this point, um, I've been working hard all year, and I know if I did whatever I did before just to get to this point, that I'll make the team. With all the drama that happened in that race, uh, can you talk to me what your thoughts um, about last 200 I, meters? Ago? Yeah, um, as from, even from the beginning, like I know that they were going to get out, and I didn't want anyone to dictate my race. So I just tried to execute each um, 100 meter, 200 meter, my coach, we gave, we strategized a specific plan, and I just stuck to my race, uh, tra um, race strategy, and I didn't let anyone, like, throw me off my game, I wanted to stay focused, and as I got to, like, 120 somewhere, like, after the 150 mark, I saw that a lot was going on, I just, just like, told myself, stay focused, you can do it, and I just tried to go the last 120 meters or so, and just tried to fight to the finish. <laughs> Um, I'm not still to this point. I'm not sure who fell, but I think I saw Brenda, and because I was like right there, so I tried to, you know, like not trip over as I saw someone falling down, and I just tried to stay focused at the same time while I was trying to race to the finish and finish in top three. Talk about that last hundred. It looked like you kind of found a path on the inside to, to sort of. Look yes. There. Um, I did. Um, I tried to find an open because I know in the very um, the prelims that I like I got boxed in and I had to like stop and go around. But this time I saw that a path just opened and I saw that everyone was fighting just like I was. But I know that if I stay relaxed and just fight to the finish, that I can finish top three. And it was a very fairly um, close race. And once I saw my name in top three, I just broke down and just thank God for that. Coming into this year, I think a few people would have put you in this position. Um, at what point this year did you believe, hey, you know, this team is something I can do? Um, I worked hard all year. I always believed in myself, but once I was the first U.S. to um, run so two, I knew that I belonged here, and I raced hard, I practiced hard, and I just stayed focused, and I just maintained, and I knew that I can make the real team. Just stay focused, like I said, um, don't let anyone dictate my race, and I just go out there and fight to the finish. Um, just from this point, you know, I just train hard each and every day with Chris Johnson, and I'm sure that my time would uh, drop and just let the best man win. Have you watched some of her races? Um, yes, I have. She, I noticed how her first lap, she like sits behind, and then her last lap, she just takes off, I guess you can say, but I'm not worried about that. As I say, I'm just focused on myself and just worry about me and I'll get there. Have you ever seen anything like it, the way she takes off? Though? No, I haven't. <laughs> no, I have not. That's something I've never seen. So. So you're, I believe you're a converted 400 runner. Right? Yes. So talk yes. about that. I mean, I know you don't do much mileage. You stay on the track the whole yeah, time. Yeah, I do not do any mileage for sure. But um, I can say that 400 speed helped me get top three today. I definitely can agree with that. My last 120, I just told myself, you have to go and commit to the finish. And that's exactly what I did. When did you, so you officially make that switch 400 to 800? Or is um, it a gradual kind of process? It was my senior year at the University of Arkansas. I made this um, transition. My coach, Chris Johnson, he was just telling me that I'm going to do the 800 and I was like no I'm not and rest of sure I did it and he was like this is going to be your event and I saw that I was pretty good at it um, once I won um, conference SEC my first um, 800 indoor and I won um, with a 202.9 and I knew that 800 was my race <laughs> so you won't even go like jog here on Priest Trail or anything like that? Um, I did during off season. Off season, I did a, a <coughs> mileage and things like that. But as in season, no, I just work on speed and I do type 800 base training as well. But no mileage. So what do you do like on the a non fast day? Non fast day. Every day fast. Um, I might jog for. <coughs> Maybe 15, 20 minutes, so easy jog just on the grass. Nothing hard, like to mess up my shins or anything like that because I've had foot problems before, so we try to stay off the gravel or anything for, to stay injury free. So, do you know your, is he your old coach or is he still coaching you? No, I still have the same coach, Chris Johnson, at the University of Arkansas. He's assistant for the women's. Oh, he, he picked the right event for you, I think. Yes, I agree. I right. agree. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you.